Rated T for Teen. Sega. It's been said that clothes make the man. Never has this been more true than in the case of Iron Man. So getting his suit right in the game was a must. I hate to say this, but sometimes people can even improve on what I've done. The way the suit flies, the flaps, the weapons, they seem to have preserved that. I love the way Iron Man looks. I love the way you have him fly. Like Iron Man's big screen counterpart, the game starts players off with the birth of Iron Man and his bulky gray armor. You start out in this tin can suit. The first level of the game is so much fun, and I just love running around in this big hulky suit, flamethrowing everyone. You start in a very basic suit, and it's all about upgrades, and as you're going through the game, you're building this suit and making it better and adding stuff to it and adding layers to it. You're going to see different variations of the suit. So we walk you through the same progression that you see in the movie. Unlike other superheroes imbued with superhuman abilities, Iron Man is a product of self-preservation, ingenuity, and redemption. He created something that he wore around his heart to keep it beating, but it was a suit of iron. And it was very primitive, but from that came the um, Iron Man. Everything comes out of technology. It's not radioactive spiders, it's not mutations, it's not magic. It's all based in stuff that could be built. He's kind of like just a regular, ordinary Joe. Just happens to have a whole bunch of money in a really cool suit. As on the pages of Marvel's comic books, where Tony Stark advances his armor's technology from issue to issue, the player is also able to upgrade their character's suit. I think there's great things with the customization system and some strategy in battle that really tries to play off that you know brilliant mind. You can choose how to advance your suit and how to basically spend your money as a billionaire researching into different aspects of the suit and making the suit accommodate your style of gameplay. As you complete objectives, you will get money value for what you do. The more money you get, of course, the more suit upgrades you can buy. Do you want it to be a more offensive base? Do you want to be faster? Do you want to hit harder? The ability to shape the Iron Man armor to the way you want to is one of the things that people are going to automatically like. It's all upgradable as you go. So not only can you buy these weapons, but you can also upgrade them with levels. And you can get level two, level three of that weapon. And so by the end of the game, if you've really done your, your homework and played through the game and gotten all the objectives, you can have a suit that is just absolutely you know, all powerful. You can really kick some butt. Wow, if I had the suit, first I would probably enjoy flying around San Francisco and just getting that kind of a view kind of enjoying it. And I think that would be the first thing. And then the call is to do something great with, with that power. And that's what makes these characters heroes. They've taken this power and they try to do good. They try to make the world a better place.